Hello, everybody. Thank you for joining me. This is GGF bringing you episode four of Let's Try Shadow Empire. Oceania edition? Oceania? Oceania? Here we are, guys. I was a little bit more prepared for that starting noise this time. Let's get into it. Hope you guys are doing well wherever and whenever you may be. It is very, very early morning here. Sun has not risen. But I can't wait to enjoy some Shadow Empire with you guys. All right, let's get it in. Um, we raised the homies last episode. Um, we have a decision to make. Adventurers discover special location. <clears throat> we've received a radio contact. We've received a radio. This is from Ripley Starfort, Director of Foreign Affairs Council. We have received a radio contact from Hex 9811. A private expedition by some of our people has established control over this special Hex. They are requesting that we help them hold on to it. Will you make a public commitment that the Hex will be held? Yes, actually, cost 1 PP, heart plus 5. We need to reassure our intrepid adventurers and guarantee our support. Um, gain 2 with Scotty Gorgonea and Apollo Beetlejuice. Yes. We've made a public commitment to ensuring that the adventurers receive help in holding their fine. Apollo gets one point. Director of Staff Council and Director of Model Design Council, Scotty Gorgonea, two points, and Heart plus five. That is all the decisions. Um, now, if we check the map, I wonder if it shows them on it. Hmm. Wow, this map is huge. Huge. Okay. So let's see. These guys, everybody's moved. As much as I'd like to move. Right click to attack. Yeah, let's check it out. Odds are 600 to 500. We are not that ready. So we, but we get experience modifiers. So the cumulative is plus 33%. Theirs is minus 41%. They're not ready at all. They have a landscape modifier of Savannah. For attack values. But again, cumulative is minus 41%. Their defensive power modified is 40. Ours is 117 attack power. Uh, oh, and there's also two of those enemy units there. We can bring these guys in. No, we can't. Odds are 1.1 to 1. Um, well, we just loaded, so let's give it a shot. I think we're pretty... We have 55 AP left. They're holding. Next round. Let's go. Oh, we start with the retreat. That's not good, and we're... They've got some bonuses, 22% terrain. The terrain is helping them, but their readiness and stuff is down. Their attack values are down. Their hit points are down just a little bit, and they don't have a... Their ammo modifier affects their attack values. All right, next round. Nothing happened. Oh my goodness. They're rocking us. Wow. We're gonna lose. Get out! Yep, defender held. Well that's what terrain can do. Twenty percent of those attack values, landscape modifier of attack values. Nobody's dead on our side. We all retreated alive. All right, so nothing really terrible. Morale didn't, well, morale for the attacker went down a little bit. XP went up a little bit. Readiness down, okay. Um, we missed a lot. We missed a whole lot. Everybody missed. And they, what is R-E-T-R, return fire? 
They returned enough and got a couple hits. They missed a lot too, but they got a couple hits and that's all it took for our guys to have to retreat. So, nobody dead though, that's good, all right. So we head back a little bit. They're a little bolstered. Let's see, let's see what we can do here. Order of battle, review all your units. Strategic map. Okay, we don't know much about that about that yet. What about stratagem? Support faction. Okay, we're not even near this yet. Nation. Recruit a junior leader, young but relatively unskilled. Character will be recruited and joined to the pool. Increase income tax 10%. I really don't know what we've got. Everything's going up, which is good. We've got metals, we've got industrial points, we've got energy, no radioactives, we've got recruits up 500. No colonists, we have to colonize some time. Rare metals were up a little bit. No machines, no high-tech parts. But we've got the same amount of ammo. We're up on oil, we're up on water, and we're up on food. So we have good amounts of those. 26 political points. So we have plenty of political points. We could spend some of them. Pacifist, scientist, free, radical scientist, protest, first disarmament, cause populace to dislike mine, gain two fate points. To play powerful fate stratagems. We're not there yet. Covert Ops, Support Faction Zones, Docile AI. First, everybody was scared, but then we understood AI and accepted their authority. Must be played on a friendly zone, on a zone with the city. This is a fate stratagem, normally executed by your secretary. Who's going to be Zero Human Dawn? Get a small independent unit of AI walkers somewhere in selected zone. Description. Oh, that's pretty cool. That takes one fate point, and we have three. I'm a little scared to use those fate points, though. Propaganda assistant, front light, inspirator. Troops morale limit plus 30 points higher if leaders within two hex. Oh, this is cool with these cards. Syndic priest, free. Assign to regular or militia unit, increased defensive power. Give selected unit the special support unit feat. Executed by a pot of Beetlejuice. Can only be played on non HQ units. We have no unit selected. Oh, we have to pick a target. Hmm. Um. Well, it's free. Then there's the first machine gun brigade that we just raised. And then there's all. Freedom Base Adventurer Party. And they gain one again. Increased defensive power. Assigned a regular or militia unit. Um, it's free. There's no difficulty test. Syndic Priest. Adventurer Party. Uh, sure. We'll play it. Understood. Unit has received a rugged Syndic Priest. Very cool. This is cool. Official gift for the leader. This is a an HR human resources stratagem. Normally executed by interior council director. Base difficulty will be 100. A leadership skill roll will be made by, by the director. Success will result in normal execution. Critical success roll 50 above difficulty could result in doubling the effect of the task. A failure will result in the task being executed having half or no effect. A critical failure, 50 below difficulty, will result in the tax being executed, having no or almost no effect, might even cause an averse effect. Will improve relation with leader, 3d 20 points, modified for egoism. So we can give a gift to a target leader. Oh, interesting. Wow, this is crazy, guys, this is crazy. We have zones. I kind of want to do the docile AI, but we only have three fate points, and I don't want to use them yet. Church of Syndic. It's 
schedule a meeting on the policies towards the coal. That takes 12 political points. That's rough. Increase income tax 10%. Difficulty will be 20. Difficulty will be plus 25 higher per 10% tax bracket. An administration skill role will be made by Director of Interior Council Pete Moore, which is Scarlet Meteor Lane. If successful role, the income tax will increase 10%. Where is our like our money? 519 credits. You need credits to buy with traders and to pay leaders, workers, and others. I kind of want to do this. It's only four political points. And let's check out her. Excuse me, she's got what was going to be enrolled again? Um. Wow, she's very authoritative. 21 year old female, she's good. Scarlet Meteor Lane, Director of Economic Council. She's strong. Let's see what that was going to roll again. Um. An administration skill role. She doesn't. Oh, she does have that. She's only level one. Eight total. Results of a skill role will be this value plus one D one hundred. Okay, so she gets an eight. Difficulty check is twenty. She has to roll a twenty or better. So I mean a twelve or better. She's great at investigation, man. Um, let's see what happens. Let's save. Gain two fate points. This is free. Mind profile gets halved. Where are our profiles? There's mind. No, it's enforcement, commerce, mind. Mind denotes the people that are cerebral and like to think, have some morals, and be creative. I would hate to have that to 20. scientific religion, a cat academic mentality. But this profile limits the heart profile. I want to go heart. Curiosity, technology, fantasy, fascination. Let's see heart. Heart denotes to people who have faith and belief in each other and their joint struggle. That's what I like. National pride, friendship, joint struggle, rallying flag, band of brothers, total trust in leaders. That's awesome. When reaching 40 plus, it also starts reducing the negative effects of danger in your zones. So fist, heart limits fist, and fist limits mind, and mind limits heart. So actually, if we want more heart, we're going to have to get rid of psychology or of mind, but mind... Or heart limits fist. Mind is useful though for stuff like, you know, technology, fascination, curiosity, logical thought. That's good stuff. So our numbers are very basic right now, but they're going to change over time. I don't know if I'm going to do pacifists. Radical scientists protest for disarmament and cause populists to dislike mind. Gain two fate points. Then we could get that AI going with the fate points. Mm, it's very tempting. Very tempting. But let's roll. Um, let's save. Actually, I want to save so we know what we're doing. The game, surprisingly, for how complex it is, it is really easy to play so far. There's just a lot to consider, but it's quite user-friendly. Oh, wait, this is a different chick. Krista Peatmore. And the difficulty is 70. And her administration is 13. No way. That's... Where did I see... Oh, it was going to be what? Church of Syndic rolled by her. But that has no difficulty. 70%. Difficulty 105. That's going to be a tough roll to hit. That's like she has to roll a 60 or a 57. 
or better. I don't trust that. Zero human dawn. There's no difficulty test. All it does is cost one FP. This guy is good and all. Very diplomatic. Great at oratory skills. Not very egoistic. Not very witty. Um, no corruption or theft. Not very emotional. Ten in administration. Level six prospecting, one scavenging. Um. So this is what he does and stuff. Worker hunger reduction, security increase, education increase, entertainment increase. Health increase, hunger reduction, prospecting, fine chance, help find trader financing. 11 credits, increase hidden economy, 41%. Agriculture bonus, 2%. Scavenging, 1%. Pretty interesting stuff. An improvisation. This helps the leader in question make a skill roll on a skill he doesn't master very well. If any skill roll is made on a skill with a value of 15 or lower, the improvisation skill adds a small bonus. So that's pretty cool. But, um... So... A small independent unit of AI walkers somewhere in selected zone. We can still control them, right? Docile AI. Yeah, yeah, they're docile. Target uh, Hogan. Target Valid. Whoops. Alright, we'll execute the stratagem and use a fate point for some docile uh, AI. Our troops in Hogan found a group of ten dormant sentinels and managed to approach, enter, and control them. They have been immediately deployed. Nice, son. Alright, they used a fate point. This is awesome. I am loving this game and its depth. Where are our AI? Right there. Ten times sentinels. Robotic militia. The walkers. Size one. Attack versus aircraft. Hard attack and defense. Not good at high altitude, low altitude versus walkers. They can attack tanks, motorized guns, infantry. 440 hit points. An AI walker, deadly piece of ancient technology. Wow. I love it. <coughs> Robotic militia. Soft attack, defense. I'm not sure what that means. Soft versus hard attack and such. Can't, oh, we can move them. All right, let's go plop them down right there. <clears throat> or should we send them over here? Let's send them over here. That was awesome. Okay, we're pretty much... We have reports that we should check. Popularity can protect you against internal unrest and external meddling. That's going up. Worker support down one. From Brianna Laudrium, the secretary. Tech level is the square root of the number of techs you have researched. How do I research? Oh, they're researching on their own, I think. Hmm. I can call these guys and give orders. So, applied science. Oh, discovery and research. Let me call Ignatius Dallahall. Ignatius Dallahall here, standing by for orders, sir. Oh my gosh. Discuss research target. Discuss focus, discovery focus. Wow. All right, yes, let's do research. Sorry, sir, that's not possible. No research fields are actually available for us at the moment. Wonder why that is. We did use a political point. Secret Service Council, spying operations, internal security. 
taxation tariffs, human resources, interior policies, foreign affairs, major modern diplomacy, model design, discover model, design model, new infantry model. Is that 0% of development? We haven't gone anywhere with that. Military research, discovery and research for military. Not discovered any text yet that could be researched. Oh. Also, we need discovery. I think. So if we come here. Standing by for orders. Discovery focus? Yes, sir. Discovery focus allows us to focus our efforts on a specific tech group. Decision is on your desk, sir. Applied science discovery focus. Sir, Applied Science Council currently has no discovery focus. Keep in mind that forcing our inventors in a specific direction restrains their creativity and will result in a minus 66% penalty. Tech group basic tech. Okay, let's not set any delivery discovery focus. Yes, sir. Acknowledge, sir. We'll do a broad discovery approach. This will be most efficient. But now, can I... Instead, can I take him and... I could uh, adjust his priorities and make him... Or make them look into discovery more. Discover is currently not possible, not resulting in discovery this round. Huh. That's what I'd be interested in. Economic Council. Standing by. Scarlet Meteor Lane. Priorities Research. Fo Discovery Focus. Zero resource hexes have been discovered. We just have to keep looking, keep exploring. Yeah, this is crazy though. So the review headquarters, HQ. First H SHQ regimes. Help. Yeah, we'll, we'll definitely get into more of this, guys, as we go. Mini map. Map is huge. I think it's probably time to end the turn. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and end the turn and see what happens. Making an auto save first. AI is playing. Oh, dang. Green Llama round three. We suffered no losses nor made any kills. We have one decision, 74 reports. We're entering a time of relative calm. The effect you will gain is you will gain extra political points every turn. The current strength of this effect is light, but it's up to 10 from seven. Last time, we gained 250 political bonus points. In 11 turns, the effects of time of relative calm will come into full force. Zero Human Dawn, Governor of Hogan, says, Advancing troops found a sealed silo near Moon Sable, Moore Sable, in the Zone Hogan. 80 of our medals have been secured. Wow, that's a nice treasure found. Lovely. Your organization's factions generated three new stratagems. Shadow Spy, assign a master spy to a leader to help with leader's next skill roll. Well, that's cool. Offer protection, offer yourself as protector. You will defend them when attacked. Investigate leader. Try to recoup as much stolen credits from a corrupt leader as possible. Cool. All right. Now, oh my gosh. Homie is not playing around. Who is this? Volmanis slavers. Oh man, they're fighting amongst themselves, it looks like. Okay, so what, like, advice, 
complement were expanding. At start of turn, we controlled 30 hexes. That's 16 more than previous turn. That is a good start, but just a start. Remember, our final goal is to conquer the whole planet. So are these the hexes we own? One, two, three, and all that? These 30? So we are expanding just by, you know, exploring? Problem unit with low supply. One or more units have supply problems. Among them, First Freedom Base Adventurer Party. You should check the logistical points in your logistical network and or move the unit back closer to a road with supply. Ensure supply to units. We need roads. Where we are going, you don't need roads. We can go back to Freedom Base. But actually, I want it. There's a Syndic Priest. Shines when he can use his ideological fire to convince the troops embedded with to hold their ground and kill the attackers. Doubles attack values in defensive combat. Wow. Nasty. But let's um try to move him them closer to the road. Like so. Advice Metal Production. Commander Guy Lithium Lord. Metal is the key resource that you'll need for almost all production and construction. The zones of First SHQ do not have a public asset yet that is producing metal. We could construct a metal mine if you, if we have found metal deposits. Or if no metal deposits found, we could construct recycling asset on a hex with scavenge points. <coughs> recycling asset on a hex with scavenge points. Construct an asset? Sir, let me explain. Beyond the late Dream Secretary. To construct an asset, you need to click on the construct order to the right side of the screen. Keep in mind you'll have to select a hex in a friendly zone in order for this order to be active. Constructing a rural asset. Ice mining facility. Keep in mind that construction usually takes several rounds, as noted here. In this column, the construction costs are shown. In this column, the cost for production and the resulting production output are shown. Each round, all the items shown as construction costs must be, must be paid or partially paid, but in that case, construction will take longer. To start construction, press the Start Construction button. It might be unavailable for the reasons specified in its place. Extra cost for hex, dirt road IP cost, create new zone. If you have not selected a hex that is not yet, if you have selected a hex that is not yet connected with the city of the zone, you'll need to pay up front the cost for a dirt road leading to the construction site. If the hex is further away than four hexes from the city of the zone, you can choose to make this asset the base for a new zone. No need to flag this though, as you can always do this later. After you've pressed start, construct the construction site. It will show up on the map with an orange triangular icon. It will show up like this once the construction has just started, but once the turns progress, your construction will progress as well. Okay, so pretty easy. Construct an asset, and they want to do a recycling asset on a hex with scavenge points. We haven't found resource deposits yet. Let's see what that does. Sir, so let me explain. For proper prospecting, you'll need to ha have an economic council. To create a new council, call your secretary. Ask the secretary to give you a new organization decision. Sir, these are opportunities to enlarge our administration with. Which new organization should we add to our government? Then make the decision to create a new economic council, but there's also staff, secret service, military research. Economic council task priorities. The next turn you'll be able to set the council's task priorities. Note that one of these tasks is prospecting. Like you to review the current priorities of economic uh, tasks, support any shuffle priorities you envision, discovery, research, prospecting. Having this council spend BP on prospecting does not ensure you'll eventually find deposits. These deposits have to be present in order to be found, and that is never sure. But the more hexes you control, the better the chance you'll find some. Deposits show up on the map as a small icon. Here's a water. Here a water deposit has been found. Keep in mind there are alternatives to finding deposits. For example, ruins with scavenge points can be used to build recycling assets which will recover metals from these hexes. That's how you use ruins. Build recycling assets on them. Okay, fair enough. And finally, ooh, gold 
Oh no, goal, hold at hex 9811. Remember, you made a promise to your subjects to do this. Make sure you have this hex in supply. Any road getting close to it, also make sure you have enough units on or near it to deter any hostiles to take it from you. Oh, that's going to be bad. We're going to break that promise. 9811, how do I even see what the numbers... Strategic map. Oh, 1023. Okay, it's, it showed down there. So let's get off the strategic map. So if we click around 9811. Oh, it's down here. Oh, it's Freedom Base, right? 9811. Yeah, we have to get these homies back down there. Why can't they move now? Didn't we do a new turn? Could we have them build a road? Dirt road costs 20 IP per hex. Rail costs 30 plus 30 metal. So if we get a road down there... But this unit, we don't know what those are. This is blown up up here. Why nobody can move? Oh, they're on inspect. Okay, so everybody can move. Getting nuts, though. Um, first Hogan guards. Not sure why that keeps happening. I think I'm hitting my mouse wheel. Let's see. What's going to stop these guys? 500 militia bikers? Holy cow. 200 of them and 20. They're going to be coming for us. Let's see if we can maybe construct... Recycling facility, two rounds, 2,000 workers, 50 metal, 125 industrial points, and a machine, which we have none of. Wind traps. We have no machines. Scavenging furnace. Use the facilities on hexes with scavenge points. Scavenge will be fed into furnaces to generate energy. To generate energy, range equals level in the range of forests. Yeah, we don't have a machine, so... That said, how do we find scavenge points? logistical points so if we click this and inspect it we'd have to send someone to inspect it I think getting populous huh I'm not sure wait Oh, they have that scavenge points right there. Ten, I think. Maybe. But anyway, guys, we've got to... I don't know what this means. Sacred rock. Oh, metals. Unlimited water. The plain snow from up in the Arctic area. So if we construct here... Fuel production, metal production, rare earth, workers, <laughs> but we need one machine. I don't know how to build machines. Oh, we would probably have to raise a formation, maybe? Can we trade? 
Oh, two machines available. Buy one machine for 78 credits. It's expensive. So let's buy one machine. here yes. about one machine the total cost of 79 credits note that these items have been added to zone inventory perfect so we have machines down to 451 credits how long have we been playing bro time just flies by in this game now we can take the scavenge point here we can construct do we have a hundred rare metals? No, that's just metal. Yep, we have metal. Is that rare metal? No, that's just metal. Do we have 50 industrial points? We do. We have one machine. I guess it didn't take action yet that we bought the machine. And 5,000 workers, which... I really have no clue how we see that. Oh, well, that's agricultural dome facility. 2,000 workers. Um, thought there was a way to see workers. We have assets in the city. Machine somewhere in here. There it is. Stock one. Huh. So where's the workers? Not sure, but anyway, advice. Hold at that hex. Right, okay, so. Oh, they're out of supplies, so they probably can't move. Supply received. If less supplies received than requested, the turn, this value will drop below 100. 61 readiness. Oh, that's trouble. I don't think they can move now to get back to Freedom Base. They have zero AP. They have five, they have five AP. Oh man, all right, so maybe we can send some of these guys down Got a bolt arm. There's so much we've got to do. It's very interesting. Let's see. We've got these guys with a veteran sergeant. We've got all kinds of guards and stuff here. Um. We've got the AI walkers. Militia unit, they're all juiced up. We've got a couple militia bikers and buggies, but they've got way more. Plus, there's these experienced dudes over here. Let's bring you. Let's save first. This is so cool. I know it's just our first game and we shouldn't expect like we're going to do very well, but I'm into this. Um, these guards can definitely bolster the lines down here. I wonder if I could break that up and just take the militia buggy. I guess not, huh? Like I'd say they're all or nothing. Take them down to help these guys, though. All right, 
right, we've got five. Let's bring them here. Let's bring the fourth one here. Let's bring one here. Very glad we raised that, you know, raised those guys. I hate to do this, but... Okay, cool. Now, I wonder if they should construct a road while they're there. And then come down here and construct one. No, next turn they're going to come down here and construct a road. Alright, um... This has, on this tent, there's 400 guards. Okay, plus the big units. That should be plenty for that. Plenty for that, that threat there. This is what I'm worried about over here. Um, let's send more of these units over this way. And finally, we have one stack left. Let's go ahead and throw them on that middle unit. Um, workshop, produce ammo and machines. Oh, that's how you do it in the workshop. And we gained 500 recruits. All right, so I'm not done this turn. I'd also like to, I wish we could move back to that freedom base. And that unit might try to capture it, which in case we're in trouble. But we're sending these guys down. Um, construct. I don't know if we could do it this turn. Oh, we can't. Wind traps. Why did what happened to our recycling facility? Nothing to scavenge in this hex. Oh, we have to click the right hex. So we can click that hex. Construct recycling facility city or non-city hex level limit by tech level each city level supports one asset level use the facilities on hexes that have scavenge points and or artifacts that provide you a mix of metal rare metals and oil that sounds good so Wow, logistics, rail station, that's awesome. Supply bases, and it's also easy to use. Like, it's just a matter of having patience to see everything because you want to look at everything, and it's it's like you have to take your time. Uh, so this will give us 10 rare earths, 30 fuel, oil, and 40 metal per turn. That's going to be awesome. So, yeah, start construction of that. Commence construction of recycling facility. Okay, that's going to take some turns. There's that yellow uh, triangle. I almost want to move them there. And kind of give up this, these kind of protect here. So let's, I'm going to do that. Have more of a, all these AI walkers. I don't want to give up this area up here. Ten Sentinels, how strong are they? I don't know. Pretty freaking strong. Deadly piece of ancient tech, so... Alright, cool. So anyway, guys... <laughs> this is something else. I have never played something like this, and in terms of like a Kenshi-like or something, something that's similar to Kenshi or games like that, I love this. This is super ambitious, just like I really love games like that, like Kenshi, that are super ambitious. It's fantastic so far, and like I said, it's super easy to use and just learn as you look and see and use the tool tips and the help and everything. It's really great. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you made it this far, love y'all. Thanks for the support, and I hope you enjoyed and are enjoying the series. If you did enjoy this video, Please consider dropping a like, give me a thumbs up. Not only does that show that you care, but it also, how they get 10, but it also um, is a great, great boost for this video, this whole series, and my channel as a whole. It really helps the algorithm, so please consider doing that. You can also leave a comment, let me know what you think. Uh, 
I read and respond to each and every one of them, so feel free to do that. I love doing that as well. You can subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell, but only do any of those things if you really want to. No pressure for me. It's all good. Whatever you choose to click or not click is all good. So do hope to see you guys next time. As you can see, we are learning. We may get, you know, ran over hard here, but it is very cool and a learning uh, experience. And look at this. Look at all these scavenge points and stuff. Pretty wild. And we've expanded our base quite a bit. So uh, much more to come, guys. We're just getting started with this. So until next time, be well, live well, stay well. And much love, peace, and joy. Don't dip out. Come on back, and we will have some more fun with Shadow Empire. Awesome game, man. Love it. See you guys then. Peace.